Built by highly intelligent beings, a 1.8 billion year old nuclear reactor was found in Africa. This once again proves that at one point Africans were a nation of high wealth. In 1972, a nuclear fuel processing plant worker noticed something suspicious in a routine analysis of uranium obtained from a mineral source from Africa. As with all natural uranium, the material under examination contained three isotopes, three forms with different atomic masses, uranium-238, the most common variety, uranium-234, the rarest, and uranium-235, an isotope that can survive a nuclear chain reaction. For weeks, experts at the French Atomic Energy Commission CEA, remained puzzled. Elsewhere in the Earth's crust, on the Moon and even in meteorites, we can find 235 atoms of uranium, which is only 0.720% of the total. But in the samples analyzed, which came from the Oklo deposit in Gabon, a former French colony in West Africa, uranium-235 was only 0.717%. That small difference was enough to alert French scientists that something very strange was going on with the minerals. These little details led to further research, which showed that at least part of the mine was well below the standard amount of uranium-235, about 200 kilograms seems to have been mined in the distant past, today enough to make half a dozen nuclear bombs. Soon researchers and scientists from around the world gathered in Gabon to investigate what is happening to the uranium from Oklo. What foundation at Oklo surprised everyone who gathered there, the place where the uranium came from, is an advanced underground nuclear reactor that goes far beyond our current scientific knowledge? Researchers believe this ancient nuclear reactor is about 1.8 billion years old and has been operating for at least 500,000 years in the distant past. Scientists have done some more research on the uranium mine, and the results were made public at an International Atomic Energy Agency conference. According to news agencies in Africa, the researchers found traces of fission products and fuel waste in various places in the mine. Incredibly, compared to this massive nuclear reactor, our modern nuclear reactors are not comparable in design or functionality. According to research, this ancient nuclear reactor was several kilometers long. Interestingly, for such a large nuclear reactor, the thermal impact on the environment was limited to only 40 meters on its sides. What the researchers found even more surprising was the radioactive waste, which still had not left the site because it was still held in place by the geology of the area. What is surprising is that the nuclear reaction occurred in such a way that plutonium, a byproduct, was created and the nuclear reaction itself was delayed. This is what is considered the holy grail of atomic science. The ability to mitigate the reaction meant that once the reaction was initiated, it was possible to use the power output in a controlled way, capable of preventing catastrophic explosions or energy release at a time. Researchers have dubbed the Oklo nuclear reactor a natural nuclear reactor, but the truth about it goes far beyond our usual understanding. Some of the researchers who were involved in testing the nuclear reactor have concluded that minerals were enriched in the distant past, about 1.8 billion years ago, to spontaneously trigger a chain reaction. They also found that water was used to mitigate the reaction in the same way that modern nuclear reactors are cooled using graphite cadmium shafts, preventing the reactor from going into a critical state and exploding. All of this is in nature. However, Dr. Glenn T. Seaborg, former head of the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission and Nobel Prize winner for his work on heavy element fusion, noted that in order for uranium to burn in a reaction, the conditions must be exactly right. For example, the water involved in the nuclear reaction must be extremely pure. Even a few parts per million contaminants will poison the reaction, stopping it. The problem is that there is no clean water anywhere in the world. Several experts have talked about the incredible nuclear reactor at Oklo, stating that at no time in the geologically assessed history of the Oklo deposits has there been uranium with enough uranium-235 for a natural nuclear reaction. When these deposits formed in the distant past due to the slow radioactive decay of U-235, the fissile material would have been only 3% of the total deposit which is too small for mathematical mathematics to allow a nuclear reaction to occur. Nevertheless, the reaction occurred mysteriously, suggesting that the original uranium was much richer in uranium-235 than in the natural formation. This once again proves that highly intelligent creatures have been living in Africa for many years. 
Over the past two centuries, scientists and archaeologists have opened the world's eyes to many ancient technologies hidden in plain sight in Africa. The discovery of modern tools, machines and technology has enabled archaeologists and scientists to better understand the role that Africa has played in the evolution of the Earth and humanity. Although many things are still not clear, one fact that is constantly being updated is that humans have been on this planet longer than we can tell, and that Africa, black man, has been at the forefront of the civilizations and technologies that have powered the planet from the dawn of time. A nuclear reactor lost to history was discovered by a worker at a nuclear fuel reprocessing plant in Africa in 1972. The worker noticed that there was something suspicious in one of the analyses of uranium from a mineral source at the site. The site is located in Oplo, Gabon. And what was surprising to the scientists who gathered at the site where the uranium was found was that the nuclear reactor went far beyond the scope and understanding of our current, current, scientific and technological know-how. Researchers working on the discovered nuclear reactor said it would likely be about 1.8 billion years old, with at least 500,000 years of operation at its peak. The scientists' findings and conclusions were revealed to the researchers at an International Atomic Energy Agency conference. Journalists reported that scientists found traces of fission products and fuel waste in various places in the nuclear mine. Amazingly, our modern nuclear reactors are nothing compared to this old reactor, both in function and design. It is said that the ancient nuclear reactor was very long and stretched for many kilometers. Another fact that threw the scientists off balance was the surprising fact that a nuclear reactor of this size had a minimal, insignificant, thermal impact on the environment which measured 40 meters on each side. They also realized that the radioactive waste had been kept intact in the Oklo area and had not moved beyond it, all thanks to the topography and geology of the area. This discovery comes to a world that has lied about the achievements and capabilities of African man and the continent since time immemorial. When Europeans came to Africa, they found indisputable evidence that proved that Africans were better off than they were and that Africans had been here on Earth before Europeans arrived. The Europeans did not want this knowledge to go viral in the world, so they developed all kinds of propaganda and scientific lies to say that Africans, black-slash-brown people, are inferior to Caucasian man. To further spread this lie they have destroyed, stolen and buried many African artifacts, inventions and knowledge. Despite this, the worst scourge Africa faces is that its people are ruled by politicians who have no sense of history and conscience. For them, it is all about money. Thus, they allow Europeans to come and dig up all sorts of places in Africa in search of our collective heritage. When they find these ancient truths, technologies and artifacts, they hide them and steal them to Europe and America. African political leaders don't care about that. All they care about is dollars, euros, and pounds. And just like that, Africa is stolen dry year after year. Worst of all, these same leaders will never create opportunities for science-based research that could lead to these discoveries being made by Africans and kept in Africa. Numerous foreign companies throughout Africa are mining precious metals, minerals, resources, ancient artifacts, and more. Africans remain in the dark about the massive looting of their collective heritage by Europeans, Americans, Chinese, and anyone else who wants to profit from it. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Tell us interesting facts you know about the topic of this video. See you in new videos.